Okay, I know it's been discussed quite a bit, um, the topic of power director adjustment. I've got one here out of a D15. Uh, I got it out where we can get at it. I went through the transmission. Um, the tractor wasn't running when I bought it, so I tore the power director part, cleaned everything up, and when I put it back together, I started over with the shims. Um, you've got 85 thousandths here. This is the high range clutch pack. You've got another 85 thousandths here, which is the low range clutch pack. And then here you've got 35 thousandths, which is the shims between the two center plates. Um, if you look down here, I've got a couple of uh, spare shims that I've got laying around. Um, this is a 15 thousandths short shim that is for the clutch pack shims. And this is a 10 thousandths long shim, which is actually for the shim between the two center plates. Uh, the center plate shim is longer because they use it for uh, support for the two center plates. You've got to have a short shim in the clutch pack shims because if you use a long shim in that position, um, you will this shim will actually uh, sit down into the clutch disc. It'll actually go in between the clutch discs. So you've got to have a short shim on the center pack or on the uh, clutch pack side. Um, now back up here on the clutch. Um, like I said before, you've got 85 thousandths, 85 thousandths, and 35 thousandths. Um, that gives you a total of 205 thousandths worth of shims, and you have to have that 205 thousandths distance in each of the three locations. If you do not, say you're missing a 5 thousandth shim out of one of these stacks, what you've done is you've made this 5 thousandths narrower which in effect makes your connecting link five thousandths longer. It means that this is an over center clutch um, that messes with your engagement. It wants to kick out. So in your adjustment, if you remove five thousandths from a clutch pack shim, you have to add five thousandths to your uh, center plate shim. Whatever you do in the clutch packs, you have to do the opposite to the center plate. If you remove five, add five, and vice versa. Now when it comes to measuring, what you're going to do is you're going to release the clutch pack. You're going to put it neutral. It's in neutral now. You can see that the plates are loose. Um, and you're going to measure this distance right here. Um, you're supposed to use a split bore gauge and a micrometer. I have a micrometer set, but I do not have a split bore gauge set, so I just used a caliper. Um, but you're going to measure this distance here and here, and you're going to do it with it uh, released. And then you're going to shift it. You've got to use a pry bar, and you've got to put it in here in the, uh, in the shift collar, and you actually have to shift it manually. Um, once it is shifted and the clutch pack is applied, you're going to measure this distance again. You've got to do this at all three locations. You can see that there's three locations here. You've got to do that measurement at all three locations, released and applied. Now when you get that done, um, I made a little chart here because I've already done this and I don't know I'm not the best camera operator. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but what you're going to end up with is something like that. Um, now you can see uh, low range released, low range applied, high range released, high range applied. Now these are my measurements in thousandths of an inch. 183, 195, 194, and then when I applied it I had 167, 175, and 171. And what you do is you add those up, you get 572 and 513. And you divide by 3 to get an average, 190 and 171. You subtract the two, which in my case was 19 thousandths. Now this is the magic number right here. This number has to be between 42 and 46 thousandths. Um, as you can see, mine is 19 thousandths, so I need 25 thousandths worth of shimming. So I need to take 25 thousandths out of, out of the clutch pack shim, out of this shim stack right here. Um, and then I need to add 25 right here to the center stack. That's going to, what's happening is, is I'm not squeezing it tight enough. In a, in a high load application, it would try and slip. Um, if you're over the 46 thousandths, obviously it's just backwards. So this number right here has always got to be between 42 and 46 thousandths. That's your magic number. Um, just so you know, on the, on the high range side, uh, I ended up with 21 thousandths. So I got to do the same. I need 25 thousandths worth of shim. Uh, shim stacks there. So um, as long as this is between 42 and 46 thousandths, you're adjusted and you're good to go. Um, one more thing I'm going to note, um, most people don't uh, 
kind of hard to understand, but uh, this right here is uh, the Belleville spring washer that actually applies the clutch pack. Um, if you can't really see it because I have, I have the clutch assembled now, but there's a roller inside there. Um, that roller rides on a ramp, and those ramps wear down, and a lot of times when it kicks out, um, you know, you put it in high range or low range, let go of the lever, and it kicks back out. Um, a lot of times that's what you run into, that roller is wore into that ramp. Um, if you take that apart, um, you take that to a machinist and you fill that back in, you have that machine back down, a lot of times that'll take care of it. Uh, mine didn't look too bad, so I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to fire them with the tractor, as you can see. I'm doing a restoration. <laughs> there isn't much left now. There's my new motor, but... Uh, um, yeah, so, and the transmission looks good, too. I opened it up and cleaned everything out. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see, but actually the transmission looks to be in pretty good shape. So, um, that's where I ended up with. i got to order some shims. Um, I've got some spares here, but I don't have enough to do what i got to do. Like I said, the tractor wasn't running, so when I took this clutch pack apart, I um, cleaned everything up. I cleaned all the shims up, and I just basically started over. And when you start over... Um, you always want to start with 85, 85, 35. That's going to give you that 205 thousandths worth of uh, shims. And you do that, like I say, you do that in all three locations. There's the second one, and then there's the third one. So all three locations, 85, 85, 35, 205 thousandths. Always maintain that 205 thousandths worth of uh, shimming. Um, to take 20 thousandths out of here, you got to add 20 thousandths between the two center plates. So. Um, I hope that, that's just a quick little video, I hope that uh, clears up a lot of, uh, um, I know this topic was talked about quite a bit, and I hope that clears up some confusion, if I made you more confused, I'm sorry, but uh, that's what it's all about right there, it's really not too complicated once you get into it, so there you are.